crazy to think that this is still happening in 2025. This is from seworld.com. Nearly half of mobile apps contain hard-coded secrets. They are referring to this report from Zimperium. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. From their website, mobile apps, the new API battleground. Their global mobile threat report reveals the scale of the problem. Nearly half of mobile apps still contain hard-coded secrets such as API keys. And this applies to both Android and iOS apps. 24% of Android and 60% of iOS apps have no protection from reverse engineering. Amazing that. One in three Android apps and more than half of iOS apps leak sensitive data. One in 400 Android devices is rooted and one in two and a half thousand iOS devices is jailbroken giving attackers full control. One in three Android finance apps and one in five iOS travel apps remain vulnerable to man in the middle attacks. I've heard so many people talk about the fact that man in the middle attacks can't happen with mobile devices, but here you go. This is from their report. Devices are prone to man in the middle attacks due to broken SSL trust. Many apps are vulnerable to this due to misconfigured SSL TLS implementations. This includes accepting self-signed certificates, using insecure socket factories, skipping hostname verification, bypassing certificate errors, and omitting SSL pinning. These flaws collectively allow attackers to intercept, manipulate, or spoof secure communications, undermining even encrypted connections and exposing sensitive data in transit. I previously demonstrated how it's possible using the McDonald's app in the UK to capture information doing something like this because SSL pinning wasn't enabled. I got the device to accept a self-signed certificate and was able to see all the traffic using a man in the middle attack like this. But notice here, hard-coded API keys and secrets. This is for iOS. Different categories, including finance, have some apps susceptible to this. A vulnerable man in the middle attacks, 15.4% for finance. That is a very high number for a finance app. Various other percentages shown here, leaking sensitive data. 57.2% of finance apps on iOS devices are leaking data. 2.5% use vulnerable encryption algorithms. On Android, notice finance, 18% of vulnerable encryption algorithms. 7.3% use hard-coded API keys and secrets. Almost 31% vulnerable to man in the middle attacks. 28% leak sensitive data. There's a lot of information in this report. You can have a look at it in your own time. I just wanted to highlight the fact that just because you're using a mobile phone doesn't mean that it's totally secure. It's crazy to think that nearly half of apps still contain hard-coded secrets in 2025. Not a good look.